Bless me, Brad. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be doing my personal top 10 WWE... <sighs> the hell just happened to my voice. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing my top 10 WWE Elite Figures of the Year. 2019 was a hellacious year of WWE Elite action figures and just action figures overall. Mattel has totally knocked it out of the park here lately, guys, and it was just the year of the head scan mainly, like just turning out epic head scan after epic head scan, and you know, a head scan can make or break a figure, so they were making all kinds of great figures for us, and it was just, it was just hellacious this year. It just get Let's give a let's give a great applaud to Mattel right now for their excellent job on these Mattel figures. I think Bill and the whole Mattel design team does an excellent job on these figures. For the most part, I'd say 90% of the time they absolutely crush it, and it's so excellent, man. And we are so thankful here on the channel to be a personal member of the Elite Squad and getting to partner with those guys and Ringside Collectibles and being able to bring these epic action figures your way and uh, show you guys which ones to purchase, ones one you know which ones aren't, and and just get you guys involved in the great hobby that we all love. So today, guys, we are doing my top 10 elite figures of the year. You guys will see this personal list right here, and these are not the figures. I repeat, these are not the figures. These are my honorable mentions. I do have some other honorable mentions that we'll mention probably, but uh, the, these figures are the honorable mentions that could have made the list, and they were so close to making the list, and it was very, very hard to make my top 10. I will tell you, it was very, very difficult just because Mattel crushed it this year, and I had a very difficult time, but here we have the WrestleMania 36 Booker T, Elite Series 69 Ali, Elite 71 Adam Cole, Ultimate Edition Finn Balor, Elite 74 AJ, Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, Elite 70 Gargano, Elite 74 CN Almas, NXT Elite Target Exclusive Aleister Black, and Elite Series 67 Cedric Alexander. Now you guys know that Ronda Rousey is probably my favorite figure of the entire year. I think that she's phenomenal. She may be, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but she may be my favorite figure that Mattel's ever made just based on her articulation and what you can do with that figure. I just really, really love that figure. It's I don't know how to explain it. It's just that damn good. However, we have 10 more figures that are epic and elite as well. And I thought that it would be unfair to put the Ultimate Edition among the elites. We're talking about the elite figures, but I did want to mention these guys because we don't really have 10 Ultimate Editions that release every year that we can do a countdown system for. So I figured throw them into the honorable mentions. And uh, all these figures have great value as well. I think that the Gargano would have made the list easily had he not had the kick pad issue and been missing his emoji on his trunks. I think that's what left him off the top 10. Very, very slim though because of how great these figures are. But let's just shut the hell up and get into my top 10 WWE Elite Figures of 2019. Alright guys, so starting out at number 10, we are coming in strong with the Elite 71 Jeff Hardy figure, and I really did love this figure a lot, and I think you guys will remember on my Elite 71 ranking, I put Adam Cole just above this Jeff Hardy, but after reconsidering it and breaking down everything, I ended up switching the two in the countdown, and so Adam Cole barely missed the top 10 along with a lot of those other figures for the top 10 figures of the year. I wanted to put this Jeff Hardy in here. It's just so nice. I love the pink. Pink's one of my favorite colors. I love that we get the towel. I love the interchangeable head sculpts, and it's just overall so strong of a figure. It was very hard to leave out Jeff Hardy, and I think this is definitely one of my favorite Jeff Hardys that Mattel's ever given us, and uh, I cannot wait for 2020 when we get the Top Talents Elite, the Elite 75, and multiple Jeff Hardy Elites to come. So I am very excited to put Jeff Hardy Elite 71 at number 10. Coming in at number 9, guys, we are going with Elite Series 72, Becky Lynch. Now, I think this figure is very, very strong. I love it. I think that, you know, it took a while for Mattel to get it right, but they finally got it right with this head sculpt. It looks just like Becky, and Becky being one of my favorite female talents in the world, I think they did a really good job. It's finally time that they actually got the head sculpt right, and I love it. I freaking love this figure. We finally got double-jointed knees, so it improves her articulation a ton, and this is a big step forward towards getting female figures in MDT, the pick fed and stuff. So that is a very good one. And the only thing that botches this figure, it would be higher, is that uh, it does not have ankle pivot just yet. So if you're watching this, Mattel, please give us ankle pivot for the female figures that we get on the men. That will greatly increase the women and it will make them a lot better. You also get the cloth goods jacket. You put the Raw Women's Championship on it and it is freaking excellent. And I know we're getting an Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch in 2020, so I'm freaking hyped for that one. That one is going to be epic and I cannot wait to see and compare it 
to our Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. Coming in at number eight, guys, we do have Elite Series 69 Tommaso Ciampa. Now, this figure is pretty self-explanatory. The only thing that was wrong with this figure was the legs. You know, they did give us those baby legs, but switching those out with Bobby Roode makes this a pretty much perfect figure. I think it is freaking fantastic. I love the new torso we got with the ripped up and the hair over it. I think that the arms look good. The black tape, the knee brace, the crutch. I mean, it's damn perfect. I think the head sculpt is great. Again, this year was the year of the head sculpt material was knocking it out of the park with all of their head scans and I expect that to continue in 2020. I cannot wait to see what we get out of Mattel from that and this figure was no different. I mean it's on ball joints, has good articulation. It's just one of those figures that you look at the figure and you go my god is that an exact replica of Ciampa or what and that is why it is coming in at number eight. Really really strong figure and I'm happy to own this Ciampa. Not to mention we also have the camo pants to go with it. Coming in at number 7, guys, we have another feature from Elite Series 72, and it is Rey Mysterio. This figure is freaking outrageous. I love this figure to death, and one reason why it is so high on the list, or it is in the top 10, is just because of how poseable it is. I freaking love the joints on every Rey Mysterio figure, and I love the white gloves. I love this head sculpt. I think it's a really good one. It has a very tight ab crunch. I love the uh, bicep bands, and the boots are freaking sick nasty farticles so this figure was very easy to put on the top 10 if you guys don't own this definitely recommend it we got three different elite ray mysterios this year we had the elite 67 the elite 69 and then the elite 72 and all of them got better and better as we went and this one is the best one it is so good i love the attire and usually black attires are pretty boring i don't think that's the case with this one i think it's very very strong i think that if you replace the green with a different color it would be even better but the gold accents with the white and black really give it a really good vibe to it and it does have uh, just ultimate articulation. If you own this figure you know just how damn good it is. So Rey Mysterio comes in at number 7. On to number six, guys. We have a first time in the line, and it is the Elite 72 Buddy Murphy. Now, this one was tough just because I didn't think the head sculpt was the greatest, but everything else about the figure is perfect. And it's not a trash head sculpt, but it's not the best head sculpt. I will say that. I love that we gave, they gave us the ripped up torso. I like the arm choice they chose. I love the short mold, the way they did these, how it's like soft moldable plastic is great. I love that they gave us knee pads. White lower legs with the white kick pads looks clean. I think that the new crotch piece and the parts they use for this are so good and Buddy Murphy is just a really fun figure to pose around with. Just using this guy to uh, pose around with and put him on the shelf and stuff is excellent. So I, I really did enjoy this figure this year and it's definitely one of my favorites. It, it's kind of a trend you see. Elite 72 was probably the best set of the year with all the crap they had in that set, man. They had such a good set in there and it looks like a lot of those figures are on this list. I mean, what do you say? Such a great set and Buddy Murphy was no different, so the best kept secret was not a secret in 2019 in terms of being a badass figure. Coming in at number five, guys, we have our first feature from Elite Series 73 and it is Alistair Blacketh here in the house. I mean, the jacket speaks for itself. This horn jacket is so good. The head sculpt is perfect. I love that we got the full tattoos. We have the updated tattoos. He did not come with the wrist gauntlets, but that was not a big issue because it's so easily to fix. And uh, we did get interchangeable hands. You get all of his updated tattoos. I love that we get the horned kick pad over here. The only issue I have with it is the height, but I don't think that that can deduct it just because he's not mega short. He is short in my opinion, but he's not mega mega short where it's just like god dang i hate this figure so that's really nice and i am in the process of fixing that height issue so once that is fixed it will be just freaking beautiful sick nasty and it already is and that is why it is easily on this list i think this figure will probably be featured on everybody's list alistair black is one of those guys with all the details he has with his attires and his tattoos and all of that i mean it's it's very easily to put him in your top 10 figures of the year so that is why alistair black comes in at number five 
Coming in at four, guys, we have my boy from Elite Series 72 again, Roderick Strong. I love this figure. It's so fun to pose around on the shelf. I did switch out his torso for the ripped up torso. If I can pull this shirt up, I don't want to really take it off, but I did put the ripped up torso on there to make it a little bit more accurate to him. But the smaller torso isn't a point deductor for me that much. Um, I would have liked to have the ripped up torso, you know, just factory made from Mattel, but I think that uh, nonetheless, it's still a great figure. I love the head sculpt. I think it may be a little bit oversized. Maybe that could just be, you know, me nitpicking and looking for something to, you know, tag on. But it does have ball joints. It has the beautiful camo attire, which we all love. I wish we had the rest of Undisputed Era to match it. And my boy, Mac Decals, hooked me up with the beautiful armband to slide over the arm. And that makes it even better. And it's just a really fun figure to pose around. You guys know Roderick Strong's probably one of my favorite talents in the entire world. He's definitely up there. And he's, uh, I think he's my second favorite in all of NXT. So... Roderick Strong is coming in hot, and that is why he is number four on the list. And Elite 72 is just so damn good, man. I mean, what do you even say? There's four figures from that set ranked in this ranking, so that, that is ridiculous. Coming in at number three, guys, we have a figure that has not hit retail yet, but it is a figure from 2019. I mean, you can get this figure on eBay. You can get it from ringside and stuff. It has not hit the stores just yet, but it is the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy. I love this figure to death. I love the head sculpt. I think it is fantastic. The dreadlock look of Jeff Hardy with the green and black armbands. You get the green and purple on this side. I love the uh, entrance hoodie with the logo on the back, even though it's not completely accurate to the shirt he actually wore. I still think it's excellent. Um, I just overall, really strong looking figure. I, I just love it so much, and I couldn't tell you why. I don't know why it's really ranked high above all these. I just really love it. I think it's so good and it's so accurate to Jeff Hardy that I really do like it a lot. And there's so many fix-ups and stuff you can do with it, and I just love it so much that I wanted to put it at the number three spot. It's just where my heart felt, and it's why I wanted to put him so high on the list. And if you guys do not own this figure yet, just wait until you own it, and then you will know exactly what I'm talking about, but this head sculpt and everything involved with this figure was too good not to leave out of the top three, so I did want to put Jeff Hardy Survivor Series Elite. Hopefully these hit retail soon, man. I'm sick of waiting on this hoe. Put this hoe at retail. We still haven't even seen Shinsuke or any of that wave at retail, so we definitely need to see that wave at retail, and when they do, I will be taking up all the Jeff Hardys. Coming in at number two, guys, very upsetting deal, kind of, and you, you'll you see why, but coming in at number two is the Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler. Now, you're probably saying, Brad, why the hell do you not have your Chase variant in this video? Well, Brad, it's because actually my brother-in-law actually came over the other day. I had to babysit him, and he actually took it with him by accident, and I wanted to make this video for today, so it is not with me, but you guys know, do know that I do own that figure. It was in our best figures of the year. I put the hoodie on it. It looks excellent, but for now, we're just going to have to go with these two fix-ups, and the only thing that was wrong with the Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler was the jacked arms that they always give Dolph Ziggler for some reason, and then the uh, black outsoles were left off of his white boots, but I do have the two different versions. You have the black tape version that's the basic conversion with the, the black boots from Elite 39, and then we have have the uh, other version where I switched out the arms for the smaller arms and gave him some boots with the black outsoles added or I just painted that on there. I can't remember but this figure was damn good. I, I've had a ton of fun just posing him around. I think I even did a match on uh, I think MDT Live episode 15 with it uh, with that Chase variant Dolph Ziggler so it's very fun to play around with and pose around and Dolph Ziggler is one of my favorite talents in the world so that's another reason why we got an updated Ziggler. I love the head sculpt. It comes with a great cloth silver jacket and I had to put him in my top two. It's just so good and I know this isn't near, even near close to the pink version or the Chase variant version but uh, I had to include him and uh, I did not want to you know, delay the video just because I didn't have it in my hands after uh, that mistake happened but I will get that figure back and uh, we will take a look at it but that is my number two ranking is Elite Series 70 Dolph Ziggler. And getting into number one, guys, the number one figure of the year, in my personal opinion, the top 10 elites, all down to this, the number one elite figure of the year is going to be one of the most recent figures, Elite Series 74, Finjamin Balor. I love this figure so very much. I love this figure. This figure is so badass. It has the smiley fin head sculpt, which obviously isn't accurate now because, you know, he's, he's turned heel, he's in NXT, but uh, for the time, this figure 
beer is so bomb. Uh, one thing I am going to do is I think I'm going to thicken up that beard right there. I think I'm going to thicken that up and probably fade that on the sides to make it look even more accurate and better. And I am hyped to do that. We also have the beautiful Royal Rumble 2019 attire where he took on Brock Lesnar in the Universal Championship with the red and the new BC logo. You have the Universal like colorway going on with the gold and black. The white kick pads with the detailing on the back with the white and everything looks so good. And there's so many fix-ups you can make. And not to mention the beautiful and wonderful leather cloth jacket that we get with the Balor Club logo on the back in red. Such an excellent figure. You can actually switch out these hands with the, they, they give them choke slamming hands out of the packaging, but it's very easy. You just switch it out with Daniel Bryan or his Elite Series 70 hands, which uh, have the tape fingers, which make it even better. Or you can put the two sweet hands on here from his two-pack Elite set with AJ Styles. That makes it even better. So this figure is so excellent, man. I can't wait to grab a few more of them just for fix-ups and surgery and stuff. And overall, just an excellent figure. I, I really did enjoy it that much, and I wanted to put it at the number one spot. And I, I, it's probably, I don't I don't want to say it's probably just because it's the most new. I've been hyped for this figure ever since they showed it, and I knew that it would be up there, but having it in hand and posing him around and stuff is just excellent, man. So Finn Balor is my number one WWE Elite figure of the year. But that pretty much does it for my top 10 WWE Elite Figures of the Year, man. I had a ton of fun making this video. I'm actually going to do the top 10 worst WWE Elites of the Year. I am actually going to do that. I don't know what day it'll be, but it will be before the end of the year. I wanted to do a top 10 best, and I did want to do a top 10 worst. So we are going to do that, and uh, it's going to be difficult to make as well because Mattel did such an excellent job this year, and I'll reiterate that in that video, but I am going to be making that. But uh, shout-out to Mattel for an excellent year, and shout-out to Ringside Collectibles for sending most of these figures our way. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video or anything else from Mattel and the WWE figures that we love so much, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS, you will save 10% and it helps us out here at the channel. So I appreciate you so very much for doing that. But subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNamToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.